Hi there everybody, it's Halsey from slimandstylish.com. Thank you for joining me today. I'm a UK Stamping Up independent demonstrator. Before I get started, I'm going to make a couple of slight apologies. <laughs> I've been trying to film this for about the last half hour, but next door have got their dog here and he won't stop barking and two doors down have got a little puppy and that little puppy has started barking at that dog and the back house has now started barking too so we've got three dogs barking my dog's not cared my dog is sitting on the bed behind me just dead to the world like let them go on with it but it's ever so cute and it's it's bark 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 and I thought I can't do a video with that so if you hear them I do apologize but I did need to start to get filming otherwise I'd get nothing done also I decorated my nails nicely for my videos um, and this one broke which is very sad and then I decided to clean my scissors and cut my finger so you've got manky fingers <laughs> and dogs barking but hopefully the project is worth it about a year ago now I put together a flower shop project let me get my YouTube it was this one I don't know if you remember it but it really amazed me because I hadn't had many viewers or subscribers and then I did this one and it was the most watched video on my channel and still is um, other than a one sheet wonder but out of actual individual cards this is my most watched and I thought you know what I love that card I'm going to try and do another one and flower shop is now retired so I thought what can I do it with and I was going to do it with pop of petals but I decided to use a new celebration and occasion set which is butterfly gala I say celebration occasions, it's occasions. Um, I use Butterfly Gala for the main butterflies and then I use needle and thread from the needle point nook section and I use this little flyaway butterfly just here to add the butterflies onto the back. So I'm going to show you how to make it um, very simply because I learnt from the first time round when I did the flower shop one I did each individual element, it's a very long video. I have actually already done different coloured butterflies the only one I'm going to do for you is pumpkin pie to show you how to do it and then build it all together for you so you don't have to sit and watch me colour okay so we're going to start off I've actually done this um I'll show you there's my um base card it is half of an A4 sheet cut in half scored in half I'm just going to burnish that then you need a piece of Daffodil Delight. This is half a centimetre shorter on each side. So this, this back bit, because it's half an A4 sheet, is 10.5 centimetres and 14.7 centimetres. This one here is half a centimetre shorter, so this is 10 centimetres and 14.2 centimetres. And then 13.8 centimetres and 10 centimetres and you need two of these. The reason why you need two of these is when you open your card, you can't write on black, unless you've got a white marker or a silver marker or anything fancy like that, I haven't. So I normally put one on the inside. Okay. For the actual butterflies, just a hint here. I'm using the thick whisper white, you know the thick one you make for your card bases, because I want them to sort of stand on their own. They're popped up by dimensionals, but I want them to be quite quite sturdy really. So and the butterfly I'm using, where did I put my sets? Is this one? And I can tell you already, I've done about six cards using Butterfly Gala. And this has been the stamp set I've used for every single one. <laughs> You've got however many stamps in there and this is the one I keep using. And I can see I'm going to have to put a restriction on myself and tell me not to use this one. Because uh, otherwise I'm never going to demonstrate the others. But I love this one. So I have the pumpkin pie and dark and light. This one here was cherry cobbler, daffodil delight, old olive, Night and Navy and Rich Razzleberry so that you've got the colours going up. And what you also need is you need the ink pads for all of them to do the stamping at the back. And I'll do that bit in a minute, but just so you, you're aware while I'm colouring if you want to grab those. So what I've been doing with this one is just putting a dark on that one. That one. that one and 
that one. Oh, and the big dot up there. I don't know why I've been doing the big dot, I just quite like it. And then I've just been mirroring it across because that's what butterflies are like. <laughs> Can you hear those dogs? <laughs> we took my dog to see Santa Paws um, yesterday because even though this is being shown to you in January, I pre-filmed it before Christmas. Um, because I would be back to work now at this time, so I would never get in any filming. And there were so many dogs, and you know, they were so well behaved. And I think they were all excited. There wasn't hardly any barking or anything. And we've come home, and there's been so many. Um, but it's cute because the one two doors away is a little Dalmatian puppy. Oh, it is sweet. So this is the light one. And I'm just going over the whole thing with that. Something different when you hear puppies bark, isn't there? It's, it's cuteness. <laughs> I can hear him. I don't know whether he's coming across on the video or not, but he's cute. And my dog's just snoring away. He's not caring at all. So I think this is probably one of my favourite sets from the Actual Occasions catalogue. Um, I quite like Fable Friends. I'm loving that one. And I also obviously like the dog set. That one's cute as well because you know, I'm a dog girl. But this one seems to be quite a versatile set. And I love the fact that Needlepoint Nook has those butterflies with it. So it kind of, they correspond to each other. Can you hear that? Oh, so loud. <gasps> and it's been so frustrating because... My window, um, where I sit and craft, I'm upstairs. My window's just to the side of me here, but they're that side of the house, so I can't actually look out my window and see them. So I can hear them, but I can't, I can't see which ones it is. Um, and then this is just the middle part of your butterfly. Yeah, just its antenna thingy. And then what else I've done with the butterfly is I've used the fine tip glue pen and because I was an idiot I didn't pre-make the um, the orange so I'm going to actually have to use the fine tip glue pen when I've st stuck it onto the card otherwise it will take ages to dry um, but what I've done I, I do it hundreds of times you might have seen it on my other videos is on the butterflies, on the dark parts, I've put over the top the fine tip, fine tip glue pen. I think you'll probably see it better on the cherry cobbler one. And it just gives it that sort of shimmer so it looks very real. And I've put that on each bit. See? I'll do the orange one after as a makeshift, but really I should have done a spare pumpkin pie um, so I could put them together for you. Because once you've used that fine tip glue pen, you have to give it a bit before you try and stick it down because it, it is very gluey and very sticky which is how it's supposed to be right so onto the stamping so i've got rich raspberry for the top night and navy old olive daffodil delight pumpkin pie and cherry cobbler These are all the old style ink pads because obviously I had all of these colours last year for the flowers and I haven't quite updated them yet. I've been working on updating the new ones, but I'm a bit spoilt now because these don't stand. Well, they stand like that, but when you add about three or four on, they all fall and I'm getting spoiled because the new styling pads, which you probably all know now, they have these little dots in. Put it on top and that is not falling. That is like a little tower. I really like that so I can see me having to replace all of these and getting the new style ones because I'm being a brat. <laughs> That's the problem. Spoil me once, I want it forever. Right, so you want to take one of your top overlay sheets. This is the one I'm taking. 
and where's my stamp gone? And what you ideally need for this is, I would say the chamois, I mean, your stamp and scrub's great, but you have to, oh, it's a bit long-winded when all you want to do is just that and go from one to the other. So I'm just going to put my chamois on the side and you're going to start off with a cherry cobbler starting in the corner. There's no real pattern to this other than you want it to spread outwards. If I get the one that I've already done, I'll put it there and hopefully it's in screenshot, you can see it. And I'm sorry that all the inks aren't in screenshot, but I don't have that big a desk. Just keep going outwards. Um, probably that's it for the red. Sorry, cherry cobbler. I will try and, and use the actual terms rather than colours because I keep calling pumpkin pie orange. And even though it is orange, it doesn't help you when I'm using it because we have a few different shades of it. So which one am I using? Probably just one more out. That way they don't have to all be flying in the same direction. Just to let you know, you can have them flying any which way. Daffodil Delight. And there we go. Old Olive. to navy. I think I've come out more on this one. I don't think it matters. But on this one I staved a bit more streamlined. I've, I've played about with this one, haven't I? But I like this stamp set. I think it's nice. There we go. And then we'll just finish off with Rich Razzleberry at the top. we go. I don't think it's quite as a, a shower like as I did that one but you know we need two different types I'm not sure which one I'm going to prefer in the end because I was a bit upset that you couldn't see all of my butterflies on this one. So let's see if this has rectified it. I'm just going to take a few seconds to put all of the lids back on these because otherwise I'm wearing a white jumper and we all know what will happen. I've already broke my nail and cut my finger and I'm waiting for that third thing. They always say that bad luck's running third things and I'd hate it to be having rich raspberry all the way down my white jumper. Got a bargain with my white jumper by the way. Really liked it. It's a stripy one. Um, white and green stripes. Oh, come on, cherry cobbler. Close, close. There we go. And it's like this all the way over, and I really liked it. And it was in one of those vintage shops that they charge an absolute fortune. I saw it and thought, no, can't afford it. And then we went back in and we were shopping, and I noticed that the vintage shop had a sale on because it was closing down. And it was reduced to a fiver, and they only had two left, and they were in my size. So... I was a very happy girl. That never normally happens to me. Blue dots. There they are. When you add them somewhere. So what you want to do when you position your butterflies is you want to overlap them slightly. And because you're starting in this corner, you're going to want your butterflies to go in that direction. Up. Okay, so bear that in mind when you're doing it. And you want to work backwards. So that's how you want it. Turn it over. Use your glue dots. If you stick it on the join between the two. You need a few glue dots for this just to make sure this it stays stuck. So I'm going to use just three on the back of this one. And then the next colour I want is going to be the yellow one. Sorry, Daffodil Delight, I did say I'd use colours and I haven't done it, so. Stick my glue dot, thank you. 
that's how I want that one. You can do each one individually and stick them down to the card. There's not a problem with that. I just find this a lot easier to, to navigate how my ladder's being built, that's all. Green. Sorry, old Olive. <laughs> oh, I so need to stop doing that, don't I? You must be getting it. That's so annoying me. Say the colour. It's old Olive. There we go. I've still gone over 15 minutes. I don't know what the original video was. And I coloured and um, glued all of them on the original one. But I know I've talked a lot through this one. So, Obviously in a chatty mood. look through the occasions catalogue yet what's your favorite set I'd be interested to know actually um because when we went to on stage there were such variations with everybody saying which was their favorite set if you haven't had a copy of the catalogue get in touch with me and I'll send it straight out to you um But yeah, all of us seem to have a different idea of which ones was our favourites. There was a big variation. I don't think anyone picked the same one. So, um, when you're saying that, I didn't pick this one as one of my favourites to start off with. I picked Fable Friends straight away and said, that's my favourite. Um, and then the dog one, obviously. I was like, that one. And I didn't pick this one. And then I've had it home and I've been playing with it and I love it. So it is now my favourite. Or one of them. Right. Dimensionals. I'm on a new pack of dimensionals. It always upsets me when I start a new pack because they look perfect and I don't want to, to ruin them. I'm going to use the side ones here because you don't need... You need one on each butterfly, but you don't need hundreds of dimensionals. So if you just snip up on the sides, you can get half a dimensional. Like that. Now you could get away with putting one at the top and one at the bottom, but if you're planning on posting it and it gets squished in the post, then your hard work of actually making your nice little butterfly ladder has gone to pieces. So I'd recommend putting one on each butterfly really. You can put them on the wings if you wanted to. I've just put them up the middle because um, I like the idea of them flying so that the rings can get bent inwards or outwards. Turn your ladder over. And position it on your card. Like that. It doesn't matter if the wings does go... Does. That's really bad English. Do go over because you will be sticking this onto a background and then onto another background. So you'll have plenty of room. Come on, Tombo. And stick that down there. Now the one that I did on YouTube with the flower shop had a ribbon on it. And I contemplated for ages with the ribbons. And I was going to use one of the celebration ribbons. Have you seen them? Those gorgeous ones. Um, and they have one in the yellow. Let me get it for you. Here it's like a it's like the old organza ribbon. Um, but actually in the colours of Gingham Gala and I was going to put that on but there's a lot going on with this card and I thought I don't know if it makes it too busy with a a ribbon on so I have just left it like that but you could put a ribbon on or on this set there are so many little um a little note hello beautiful things like that you could just put in the corner to make it actually a gift card I'll just take some of that glue off I've just seen it pop out but now I've just left it like that with my flying butterflies. Hope you like it and I'll see you soon. Thanks everybody. Bye.